Hi everyone, GM Jared here from Nothing Venture, Nothing Game, and today we will be doing a character build on Index Card RPG. Uh, right over here, you can see this is the Master Edition. Now, uh, this is the current edition of Index Card RPG, and in a few moments, through the magic of video editing, I'm going to disappear. We're going to have a whole new layout, and we're going to build a character for Index Card RPG. It's super easy. Trust me. So sit back, relax, have a drink, hang out, or pull out your own character sheet and go along and build a character with me. Be right back. So now you could see the overview of Index Card RPG, the Master Edition, and the Index Card RPG uh, form fillable character sheet. Now you're going to notice a few normal things. So if you're Coming to Index Card RPG from Dungeons & Dragons, Pathfinder, any system that really uses Strength, Dex, Con, Int, Wisdom, Charisma, it's all going to look very similar. Now, Index Card RPG is simple in its character build, and its essence is a very simple game. In reality, I've actually gotten to play it a few times. It's very deep in how you can play this game and build characters. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a fantasy character. And the fantasy characters all come from, including the index card RPG is a fantasy realm. You can place this in your homebrew world, in your current campaign world. So first off, let's go to the fantasy character section. Boom, we are in the fantasy section. It's called Alfheim and Age of Kingdoms. So again, all artwork, really cool artwork, nice black and white. I really like that. It's very clean and crisp, has a nice thing. So up here, you're going to see along, it's going to say name, world. In world, I want to write Alfheim. So A-L-F-H-E-I-M. And then next to it says life form. So see all it says zeros, player's guide, the life forms of Alfheim. Now here you have a lot of normal things. So you, you see it, this kind of talks about all the different life forms. So you have elves, you have gerblins, you have tortons, which are alien turtle people. Kind of awesome. You have dwarves as your standard for this. I'm going to choose and I'm going to make this very simple. I'm going to go with a human. Humans, you see, get plus one to intelligence and plus one to charisma. Very easy. So on your sheet, you'll see life form, type human. Uh, type, it will come up and story will come up. But I start with, see, it says life form. I get a plus one there and I get a plus one in charisma. And it automatically changes. Again, it's form fillable. Very simple. Now, once you do that, you kind of have a lin like this uh, talks about what the humans are. You got a little artwork right there. You kind of have when you choose to play human in Alfheim, your reason for being is and then it says choose one. So for this, I'm just going to say rally. If a new human realm is to be formed, ranks must be bolstered, hearts won and swords lifted. Your destiny is to lead them. So I want to rally. So I'm going to I'm going to just. On my character sheet, super simple. Not much happening here. Super duper simple. Character sheet. I'm going to, you know, my story. I'm going to write rally. Uh, just very simple to say. That's part of my story. I'm, I'm here to lead people. Now that brings me to my next section. What, uh, and then you see dwarves are, are get like strength and con. And they have a different influence. I'm going to jump over to the classes. Over here, the player guide, character types in Alfheim. You have warrior, and I'm going to go very quickly through it. You have hunter, kind of like you're, you're a marksman. You have shadow, which is like a rogue. You have bard, and you have your mage, and your priest. It's all very simple. I'm going to take bard, because I already have a plus one to charisma, and a plus one to intelligence, and I'm here to rally the troops, so it makes sense. I want to be a bard. So I'm, my type is now Bard. So remember at the top of the character sheet, it's a type. I'm going to put Bard. Oh, I'm a Bard. Now I've chosen my type. And from here, you get your starting ability and a starting loot. And as you play through the game, your GM 
like you choose one when awarded by a GM and these are milestone abilities that comes a little later as you play uh, there is really no XP it just kind of happens and your characters will be given milestone abilities or loot sometimes when you play but before we jump into that so you're saying Jared your character sheet kind of looks a little empty you have a plus one intelligence a plus one charisma what's going on with this basic this weapons and tools guns energy magic and ultimate what, what's happening here well that's really simple core stats almost every time you roll a d20 in this game you will add one of the six stats to the result now you have your strength your dex your con int wisdom very simple you get six points and you can assign them to any stats so I'm kind of a bard. I'm trying to rally my troops. So now it says base. So you'll see on your sheet, uh, it says base and life form. Life form obviously gets me that plus one. The base is from those six points. So here I'm going to allow a lot my six points. Now, index card RPG is a little different. You have it, it works by a system of hearts. Each heart is 10 hit points. You do not get uh more hit points based on constitution you get hit points based on when you level as a milestone ability you can increase your hearts or you can find loot that gives you more hearts uh con is really used for in the game you can take an action to recover and that's caught you make a constitution roll and you kind of add that and you regenerate that much hit points while in the middle of combat but this is more of a character build. So I have six points to allocate. I'm going to give myself one to strength because when I'm rolling to, you know, melee, break something, I'm going to give myself one strength. So that's one already. So I'm going to give myself to the con uh, because I want to, I'm a bard. I'm not saying I'm terrible, but I'm just saying, you know, so already I have three points here. I'm going to put three more down here in uh, charisma. Oh, also, I apologize. Con is your defense or your armor class. Uh, so since I have two, it starts at 10 and it's now at a 12. And you'll see it over here in this corner. Uh, and you see that changes as I go. So those are my stats. I had six points and I allocated the stats. I had done. That's it. Uh, I have a plus one intelligence because I start out with that. I have one strength. I have zero dex. So I'm not, I, hopefully I'm not shooting a bow or anything. Uh, but my my charisma is pretty high. I'm 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 very charismatic. Kind of makes sense. So super simple, right? So far, very simple. Now we go to the next hard part. And this is super hard. I hope I haven't lost anyone, but just keep following along. I promise you could do it. Now you have over here effort. And that is that D4 you see over there where it says basic weapon and tools, guns, energy, and magic, and ultimate. Now I'm going to break this down real simple. You get four points to assign to any one of those effort where it says base. Again, uh, sometimes on uh, a life form can increase those base uh, numbers. So again, this is very simple and ha I have faith. It's a very low numbers game. We cut out all those. If you've played Dungeons and Dragons, we've kind of cut out all those large numbers. Oh, I have a 13 to intelligence, but that modifier is a plus one. Well, my intelligence is already a plus one. Very simple. Now, whenever you roll a D20, you add these pluses right here for strength, dex, con, int, wisdom, charisma. So if I have to make a charisma check, right? Like I'm trying to rally my troops. I make a charisma check. I get to add a plus four to that check. That's pretty solid. I pass, right? And let's say it's a magical ability. I get to roll, and if it has some kind of magic base and it says roll magic, I get to roll that that magic score. And then that is how much damage I deal or or I bolster my, my troops' hit points maybe by. Or if, let's say, I swing my sword, I get that plus one, and I let's say I hit, I roll a D6 plus, you know, whatever base it is. But I have four points, right, to, to spend anywhere on this. So very, very simple. Again, simple game, small numbers. I have four points. Um, ultimate is a D12, and that's really cool when you roll a natural 20. So let's say I'm swinging my sword and I roll a nat 20. Dope. I did something awesome. I roll weapon plus ultimate. And that's the damage I deal. So um, I'm going to, I'm okay, so I'm going to, I have four points. I could spread this out evenly. Now in Alpine, guns aren't really there. Uh, if you're homebrewing your game, you might have guns. Uh, so that that's not going to come into play right now. Uh, they, there is a other systems 
built in index card RPG that do have firearms. So guns would be viable there. Um, so I'm going to give myself a plus one in weapons and tools. I'm going to give myself a plus one in magic. Uh, I'm going to give myself a plus one to my base score. You know what? I'm I'm actually going to skip out on ultimate because I really don't think I'm going to be doing that much. I want to be effective in a little bit of combat. I don't want to just be sitting out. So weapons and tools, I'm going to bump that to a two. So when I, whenever I roll a D6, I'm going to be rolling D6 plus two. So you see I have that basic. It says one already. Super simple. You start the game also with 10 hit points. So that doesn't change. Remember, con doesn't affect hit points. Con affects your defense. Um, so... Let's break this down. We've chosen a life form, human. Human in Alfheim gives me a plus one to intelligence and a plus one to charisma. I had six stats, six points to spend in my stat array, which is strength, dex, con, int, wisdom, charisma. I spent those six points and I am done. Next, I have four points to spend in effort. Effort is rolled anytime you pass a check on your stats so if i am swinging with a sword i roll my strength i passed i then roll weapons and tools which is a d6 i had four points i allocated those four points there and i gave myself a two in weapons and tools so now i whenever i roll that d6 i get to add a plus two cool i've chose my class which is bard now we're going to jump back to bard very quickly now I'm in Bard. I have my starting ability. I get to choose one. I am going to choose. Ooh, Battle Him sounds pretty cool. Provide music with a charisma roll, and I have a plus four. Reduce allies' target by two. So their target number is I get to reduce it by two, which is pretty powerful. Thespian, with a charisma roll, you can convince subjects of even wildly Ridiculous fibs. They believe in your farce and will last for 1d4 rounds uh, per roll made. So I can do that. Provoke or hurl an insult at one enemy. They can't resist dueling with me. I don't know if I feel about that. Um, you know what? I am going to take thespian because i want to rally remember we chose rally i want to choose rally i want i want to be able to convince people to trust in my abilities to to, to rally them to build this kingdom so in on your character sheet you'll see it says abilities so over here i'm going to write down there it says one so number one i'm taking thespian now, I could obviously keep filling it out, but I have my character sheet open, and whenever I'm playing, I will have the book. Uh, now, my starting loot. I get to choose one. Uh, find instrument. Your battle hymns grant each ally a D8 to one roll. Heirloom. Your weapon is a treasure. Always do ultimate when dueling. Oh, see, I didn't, I didn't boost my ultimate, so it doesn't make sense to have that. Reverse cloak. A modular cape. Your fibs last 2d4 rounds. So obviously, I'm going to take reverse cloak because that increases my number of rounds. I could keep uh, my, my fibs up. Uh, I don't think they're fibs. I'm going to say it's just more I inspire them, right? So I'm going to take my reverse cloak. Uh, and then I'm going to equip that. Now, one of the important things in Index Card RPG is you can only have a max carry 10 items and a max equipped 10 items. Those are two separate points. So very important to understand that. Now, kind of seems like I'm, 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 I'm very close to being done, right? I am. So as we continue forward, I now go down to the Alfheim basic loot chart. Uh, I get to choose any four, and I get to add that to my loot uh, or to what I'm, I'm using, right? So basically, I have an adventurer's pack, a polar pack, fishers, climbing kit. Uh, then I can choose weapons like a sword and scabbard, a battle axe and a harness, a spearman kit, a bow and quiver, a crossbow, and, you know, a warhammer, a greatsword. Um, so maps. Uh, roll int for useful map once per location. You know, kind of like I I could lead my people. So I'm I get to choose four, right? 
So I'm going to take Adventurer's Pack, and then I, that's carried, right? It's not equipped. Um, then I'm going to... Okay, so one down. Now I, I want to get some armor, right? I really want some armor. I'm going to take the mixed armor garb. Uh, it's a common garb for adventurers. Um, it's, you know, Pat Gambison, leather belt, armor, odds and ends. It gives me plus two my defense. Because currently I'm sitting on a 12 defense. So that's not that's not great. So I'm going to equip that, right? So uh, that gets me a two in. Uh, so on the defense, it says con. And then next to it says plus loot. So I want to add a plus two there. So now I have a 14 as my defense. That's pretty high. So I got that. Now uh, I have my reversible cloak, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I'm i going to get a weapon. I need a weapon, right? Um, so I feel like I'm going to grab a sword and scabbard. Makes kind of sense. So I'm going to equip that. Now I got a sword and scabbard. So strength, attacking, cool. Uh, and last but not least, I'm going to take maps. Um, it's a really cool thing. I roll intelligence. I do have a plus one to intelligence for a useful map, for a useful map once per location. So it can make me better at rallying people to my location or bringing them to a better location. So I'm going to take maps. Now... The cool thing about index card RPG, and it's very free form, is you're kind of done. That's really, really it. Uh, I would need to come up with a character name, so I'm going to call this person. So obviously, this kind of sounds like Macbeth. So I'm going to call myself Macbeth. Uh, it's kind of on the nose, but I'm okay with that. Uh... You know what? Macbeth. Macbeth. Uh, very Shakespearean. Uh, I believe. Um, so, I have Macbeth. I've made a complete character for the most part. Um, that's really it. I have my loot. I start. The, and now I have my hit points. I have 10. You know, I, I can start. I can say 10. That my max right there. Uh, I do not have a hero coin. Uh, I have a story. My story is to rally the humans, bring them back from the brink of like a collapse. And that was it. Again, super simple. Very easy to make a character here in Index Card RPG. So super easy, super simple to make a character for Index Card RPG. Now, there's something I want to show everyone. Let's say you you're you're trying to introduce this game to a bunch of your friends and I'm, I'm i know i'm taking up a lot of your time so please bear with me let's say you take you you want to introduce this to a bunch of your friends and you just want to roll up pre-generated characters now you can buy the pre-generated character sheets that are out all the way at the end of the book is it's called hero essentials you could roll up a random hero there's uh your hero story so if i rolled a d20 uh, I got my story so I could have a story um, if I need gear and this is like okay well, let's say I want my character to be a thief what gear should I have you know right here it says a caster has a dagger a spell book a spyglass book of secrets you know boom automatically I can quickly roll up a character through all of that a uh, prisoner, they have no gear, a highborn, a ring of might, a firestone, an enchanted longsword, a spell book, a masterful coat, you know, and all of a sudden I now can make a character. Very simple. So very easily, I can now say, sure, I'm trying to roll up a few characters under my hero essentials. It's D20 Alfheim heroes. I can roll a D20 and instantly get it. So you know what? Let's build a random character just from this Alfheim hero set. So I'm going to roll a D20 and see what we get. So we have a brand new character sheet. Now on your on the screen, I have the Google dice roller. I'm going to hit D20 and we're going to see what we get very quickly. So big money, big money, no whammies, go! A 15. Cool. So now I'm going to quickly see I got to roll the 15. So through the power of everything, boop, I made the D20 roller roll away. And I looked on the chart and I have a hill folk priest. Gentle giant 
who used the who used the power of trees and stones build wisdom and strength now here's the thing uh index card rpg the master edition they used to be a race known as the hill folk and small folk from index card rpg and older edition so i looked it up and it looks like hill folk are giants uh in the original they had a plus one strength and a plus three to basic works now uh the new current uh ICRPG kind of shows that everyone gets a plus one some uh, to one thing and a plus one to another thing. So I'm just going to follow that system. I'm going to keep the plus one to the strength and I'm going to give them plus one to basic uh, effort because that kind of sounds like how it used to be. So super simple. Again, so we are building a hill folk priest. So I go to world. Uh, on the top of my sheet, we have Alfheim, life form, hill folk. I'm like a giant type priest. Let's roll up a story that right underneath that make like just roll up a random character is the Alfheim hero story. So since the hill folk aren't there, uh, why not? Let's let's just quickly roll up one, right? So again, I'm gonna bring up the D20 roller on your screen. So let's roll it. Big money, big money. No whammies, no whammies. Uh, I'm gonna roll that. I got 15 again. Uh, my 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 roller likes fifth the number 15. So let's see what we got as a 15. Bloop, dice roller out the way. On 15, one of the ire ape killers now fed up with the Norburg Norburg politics. Uh, so obviously, if I have the book, I could read up on that. There's a little background to that. So I'm just gonna highlight that and copy it. My life form gets me a plus one of strength and a plus one to my basic effort. Um, so, uh, priest, so again, I'm gonna scroll all the way up. I'm gonna jump all the way back to the Alfheim character creation. So give me one moment. Boom, priest, a righteous avatar of divine magic. So it says to build wisdom and strength, right? So, and it said, I used natural, like the earth to kind of do that. So elemental, a nature or weather magic is always easy to cast. So this is a caster class. So that's my starting ability is elemental, which kind of sounds pretty dope. Uh, cool. So again, trying to build my score. Uh, we have six points to roll around. I'm going to put two in the strengths. It said build in strength. I'm going to put one into con. Um, so that's three. And then I'm going to put three into my wisdom because uh, priest roll off of wisdom, uh, like um, divine spells or or in this uh, like the like the um, ooh, I, the word escapes me. The specific spell casting for priest runs off of wisdom. So starting ability, I, mean, I chose elemental nature or weather magic is always easy to cast. That's important. That term easy lets me know I get a minus three on my D20 roll. Uh, uh, sorry, not a minus three on my D20 roll. I said that kind of backwards. I get a minus three to the target number I have to hit. So let's say in the room, the target number is a 15 because I'm casting, let's say, the thunder uh it's at that 15 is 15 minus three. So I only have to hit a 12 and then I roll my D 20 and hopefully get higher than a 12. Uh, so I'm going to take the green staff, store your elemental magic in a wooden staff, gain any three wisdom spells instantly. If your staff is lost, it comically turns up one D four rounds. That's pretty cool. So I have a, a nice cool staff. I feel like uh, that, that is my starting loot. And also kind of part of my melee, like if I wanted to like punch someone, I got that green staff. So I'm going to equip that. Now, again, to your base, to your effort, uh, I'm going to put two into weapons and two into magic. That gets me four. And I already had one in my basic. You know what? Actually, I'm going to take the two out of my weapons. I got that really cool staff. It's fine. I shouldn't really be hitting anything. I'm going to try... And hopefully roll a lot of ultimate. So I'm going to put two there. Uh, so hopefully if I cast elemental magic, um, I get to just pop up with those three spells. Um, 
and hopefully I roll a bunch of nat 20s. Again, I'm almost done. Now I get now I have to choose my loot. So, oh, they are kind of like a priest. So I'm going to choose healer's case, right? Healer's case, it has bandages and stuff. I feel like they're almost very druidy. So maybe no armor. So I'm going to take a common shield, a round wooden shield, and it's strapped for suited for travel. Gives me plus two to defense. If hit, I sacrifice the shield to absorb all of any one attack. So... I can't, like, I, I feel like that's a can, uh, like, you have to. So, I'm going to take a common shield. Uh, I'm going to equip that, and that gets me a two to my uh, my defense. And then I'm going to take, so I got, uh, I don't think I'm going to, I think, let me see. So, I chose the shield, healer's kit. I'm going to take traveler's garb, a lighter, more comfortable set of clothes for travel, only plus one defense. But I get two more inventory so that's kind of cool i'm gonna take that uh and that gets me a plus one so now i have a three so i have i now have a 14 in my defense which isn't so bad and um i'm gonna take an adventurous pack uh so that's my four items i feel like that's a pretty solid thing i have a staff and then that uh, is carried uh but now i have more more spots to carry um now Here's the cool. Here's the here's the cool thing bet between wisdom spells and intelligence spells. Intelligence spells take up slots in your inventory. Wisdom spells do not. So I get to choose three wisdom spells automatically. And uh, as I'm talking, I'm kind of scrolling down. You see all the intelligence spells. The wisdom spells I just roll to cast. Uh, so I get to choose three. So obviously I'm going to take elemental earth, draw forth a massive stone, uh, and then I shoot it at someone. So I'm going to put that under powers because i get three of those so i'm going to take elemental earth under my powers that's kind of like my spells regeneration i'm going to take that regeneration a tiny spark of pure sunlight forms in your hand give this tiny spark to an ally they will automatically heal a d8 hit points on the next four turns so that's that's pretty powerful yeah i'm, I'm going to take the elemental storm that kind of sounds dope I can only do it when I'm outside, but hopefully I'm outside. Wow, Elemental Storm. Pew, pew, pew. That sounds pretty dope. So, what do I got here? I, I have Alfheim. I'm uh, Hillfolk. I'm a priest. One of the IRA ape killers now fed up with the Norberg politics. I'm going to call myself... Well, I'm a giant, right? Hillfolk are like these giant kin. So, I'm going to call myself... So, I'm Stanton the Hillfolk. Um... Yeah, and I'm done. That's how easy it is. So to, to generate characters, super simple. Remember, very simple. The book gives you everything you need, and it's a very easy way to get into this game. Um, building characters is super easy. You have six points to allocate to your generic stats, the, the D20 rolls. So strength, con, dex, con, int, wisdom. You have four points to allocate to your efforts. Uh, so that's weapons, magics, uh, ultimate damage, basic effort, uh, which is kind of like bending bars, lifting something that's like like doing stuff with your hands. Um, then you choose your loot. You get four items to choose from besides the single item you get from your starting class. Uh, if you get spells, you choose those spells. They normally tell you what spells you get. You get your ability and, and then you're good to go. You start the game. And that is it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was knowledgeable. And I hope you go out there and build characters and make a ton of, of these characters. And let, let me know what characters you made. Um, so if you like this content and all that jazz, please hit the subscribe and like. It really helps out a small channel like us. But with all of that said, I want to say we are nothing ventured, nothing game. Rolling dice, giving advice with a lot uh, of that New York spice. Have a good one.